Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you all the art supplies goodies that I have collected while I was in Amsterdam for the Urban Sketches Symposium. So there are actually two goodie bags. One is the one from Royal Talents, which I got when I visited their factory. The other one is the red color one from the symposium. I have basically uh, reassembled everything into this bag. So let's take a look and see what's included. So let me just take this out. So it's a bag within a bag. Now there are different goodie bags for the participants as well as for instructors. I am considered a volunteer so I'm not sure if my volunteer goodie bag is the same as the participants. Anyway, um, all the items that you see inside, they uh, may or may not belong to the original goodie bag because I have already mixed the, all the things uh, into one single bag. So let me just put this down on the ground and show you the items one by one. I suppose this is from Royal Talents. Oops. I have also mixed up the items into the box. So not everything is uh, made by Royal Talents. So this is a Strathmore watercolor pad that has 100% cotton watercolor paper. I saw online that Strathmore, they have started making the 100% cotton sketchbook. So this is, the, this is probably the sample, the paper sample from those sketchbooks. So let me just put that aside. A pencil made by Royal Talents. The brand is Brunzel. This is the brand that is sold in Netherlands. Another pencil. This is made by Derwent. This is also Brunzel, made in Holland. So I have some watercolor clips here. These are from Kaw. This is Van Gogh, this is White Knights, this is also White Knights, this is the pen. This is from Renaissance and this is, this, this three probably from Renaissance as well and this one, this is Aquarius watercolor. This is made by Roman Schmals. There are no names on some of the pens so I need to write them down just in case I forget what they are. Next, we have this Van Gogh portable watercolor set. This is a very nice box with 12 pens and six mixing areas here. And this is a sketchbook made by Wilfred. It's a handmade sketchbook and this is the website. So you can actually customize the sketchbook with whatever paper you want. This is watercolor paper. You can also get 100% watercolor paper in this sketchbook. You just have to ask Wilfred to make it for you. This is actually a free gift for me, uh, for those people who were helping out at the symposium. So this is a very nice sketchbook and the cover here this is also hand painted as well if i remember correctly a rhodia notebook stillman and burn nova trail sketchbook comes with three different types of paper bound into a single sketchbook Sakura Pigma Micron. Now Sakura is actually the parent company of Royal Talents, but uh, in terms of operations, uh, Royal Talents, they pretty much operate independently. So uh, Sakura and Royal Talents, they are sort of like family company, but Sakura is the parent company, which is why I often see the Sakura brand um, very often together with Royal Talents. So this is a set of six fine liners and one brush pens. This is Faber Castell. Is this the pit marker? Um, yeah, it looks like it is. Eco pigment. 
This is the Strathmore Watercolor Travel Journal with stitch binding. So this is not hardcover. This is filled with watercolor paper. Is this 100%? Yep, this, uh, this sketchbook has 100% cotton watercolor paper and it has rounded edges, really nice. The paper, it's 300 GSM, so it's really thick and it's like cardboard. Very high quality uh, paper, 100% cotton. And comes with this elastic band to keep the pages close. So this is uh, this sketchbook has 20 pages. I'm not sure if there are other sizes. Probably there are. And we have this set of brush pens made by Royal Talents. This is the Ecoline brush pens. I have reviewed them before on my blog. So for some of these items that you see, I am probably going to give them out during the uh, local sketchbooks here in Singapore because um, I don't have space to keep all of this. This is the Sakura Jelly Roll white gel pen. Comes in three different sizes. This is the brand that I use when it comes to white gel pen. They are really good. Some additional pens and markers. So this is, what is this? This is the Faber Castell Albrecht Dura watercolor marker. Fine point on this end and the brush tip on the other end. So this is a watercolor marker. Oh, the cap actually has this extrusion here that prevents the marker from rolling on the tail, which is nice. Ecoline brush pen again. Durant line maker. This is a fine liner or multi-liner. This is the Derwent Line Painter, a paint pen. The ink is, well, it's not that opaque, but it's a nice ink. This is the Line Maker, again, two line makers. Those are multi-liners. Sakura Micron, another multi-liner. This is the Jelly Roll, another one. I like this, I use it a lot. And this is the portable watercolor palette that is made of wood. There's one version that is made of walnut wood. I'm not sure which uh, wood, uh, what wood this is. But this is made by Charlie USK factory. And it's very cute. So it can hold 12 colors. It has magnets so that the covers can snap together. And this is the mixing area. And this particular box has this Amsterdam Urban Sketches Symposium logo etched on it and it looks really nice. Corners are rounded off and we have screws here for the hinge. It looks and feels really nice. And this is a box set of Sakura Koi coloring brush pens. This is in grace. A latched um, 1917 notebook with blank pages, rounded corners, and an elastic band. I have some inks. Um, I wrap the inks with plastic just in case. These are inks that were given to me from, let's see from Renaissance. So they make different uh, art supplies. They make a lot of art supplies actually, like different types of inks, acrylic ink, India ink, oil, watercolor, gouache, you name it, they have it. So they passed me some inks to test out. This is India ink for drawing and calligraphy. Comes in this 20 ml plastic bottle. This is acrylic ink for artists. You can actually put this into those um, spray pen. And this is shellac ink for drawing and calligraphy. Definitely not safe for use in those uh, fountain pens. So this is waterproof Chinese ink. 
and this is li liquid rail. So this looks like liquid watercolor, it is, in this 30 ml bottle. And then we have this, what is this? Uh, Brunzel pencils. So this is a box of Brunzel pencils made by Royal Talents. And a box of Kretar color pencils. So they have been, Kretar color has been a sponsor for the Urban Sketcher Symposium several times and they always provide a nice box of pencils. So let me just open this up. These are the pencils in the Krita color box. So we have three Marino pencils. These are water soluble colored pencils. This is a water soluble graphite. And this is the Krita color Nero. And this is a normal graphite pencil. And lastly, I have some more watercolor paint from Renaissance. So let's um, take a look at what's inside these small boxes. Oh, these are watercolor pens. Very nice. I need to find a box to put them. And these are the watercolor tubes from Renaissance. So I have a lot of tubes here. 12 tubes for me to test. So you're going to be seeing uh, some of the limited color palette videos using these tubes. Looking at all these art supplies is making me feel very inspired right now. I feel like I want to draw something, but that's going to be for another video. Oh, one last thing. I also have this Van Gogh dot card. So maybe I will make a separate video for this while I swatch out all the different colors. So these are all the different art supplies that I managed to get while in Amsterdam. You will definitely see me use them in future videos. So thanks for watching today's video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Bye.